In this video, we will see about the data formatting and handling some of the errors. This is possible that whenever we are uh, doing any data processing in query editor, might be possible that they, whenever we convert any uh, column data type to another and uh, whenever we are doing any processing, it may be possible that the errors may be occur. That how we do, how we can handle it and how to correct that error that we will uh, see in this uh, video. Now we have this uh, combined data where we will see first of all let's try to see what are the data formats uh, which are having for each column uh, so basically country id this is a number and we do have this uh, saying as a text field but we will make it as a whole number country uh, is a text field so this is fine uh, year year is again a number field basically year should be a date format uh, but we don't have a date uh, day and uh, month in this year for uh, in this column that's why we can make this as a whole number as well so just make it as a whole number age group is fine something which is uh, text uh, as of now but then uh, for this uh, this is the way which we can uh, do this where we can automatically correct the data types basically uh, whenever uh, we load any data the power bi tool can automatically detect their types if you have selected their properties we hand but we haven't selected that properties we have uh, disabled the automatic data type detection earlier while uh, doing the project settings for now what we can do uh, we will just um, scroll right and these three columns we will try to make it as uh, automatic detect type to do that uh, in the transform menu you have this detect data type just click on this now you can see this has been changed to 1.2 like decimal format all these things because these are the num numeric field and that's why it has been uh, changed. Now whenever we do our uh, we are changing the data type and formatting there might be possible that uh, the errors occur so let's try to apply this because we cannot uh, do this um, the data will not be processed until we uh, press this apply option so just click on this apply option and then uh, it will start processing the data and if there are any errors in the data then it will show up that error now you can see that when uh, this load has happened means we have applied the changes but it is showing that there are some error like one of the load queries contains an error so uh, we can see there are uh, these many rows loaded however there is an error to check the error what is exactly error just click on this view errors let's see what is the error uh, you can see this error uh, has opened and there is one row which is having error so let's go back and you can see this population total column is having uh, this error now uh, why this is so just uh, click on this and we will see means what is this error we can see this error which is says uh, couldn't convert to number and this is actually the total which is after this error and it has just appended so total of that particular two columns is something which is the number which is given here but it, it is not able to convert it that's why it is having this problem now how to fix that uh, let's go back to uh, the main query and uh, we will see means uh, how to fix this means in the one of this will have this error but let's try to do this uh, like we can just remove rows and remove errors this is one of the way we can do this remove errors and uh, this will delete the entire row however this is not the right approach because it may contain some valid data and we just need to correct that particular column uh, value uh, so that uh, entire row will not get deleted for that what we we, uh, we can do is uh, we we can replace value with the error wherever you see error you can see that whenever we see this error it is not able to find it because it doesn't have that uh, particular uh, data type it, it cannot uh, find because uh, its data type is number for that we need to uh, remove this uh, change type uh, so that it will uh, show up here let's try to replace values so we'll just try to search for the error and we we will copy this copy this number and we just wanted to replace it with this now we can see there is this red uh, it's not red uh, bar here it's just a green bar so we have corrected on this change the data type back to its uh, format let's do this detect data type and just make it as apply this is the way we can uh, fix uh, the errors which are coming in this uh, our data means this is quite possible that uh, means whenever we do change the formats of the data 
or data columns then it may be possible that the processing uh, may not be happen just because of uh, such types of error so we need to correct it uh, by, by this way as i have shown you i hope you have understood this if you have any questions or comments please put it in comment section and if you like my video then please like it and share it with others as well thank you for watching